What's up everybody? Welcome to Planet Coaster Alpha, tutorial number two. This is Path Placement. So obviously when you have a park, you're going to need to, your peeps to get around from place to place. And in order to do that, they need paths. Uh, we have two different types of paths. We've got this dark black one here. It's kind of a black tarmac-y looking thing here. That's your main path. And you've also got Q paths. The Q paths are these uh, blue spirally looking ones here that go from your main path to a specific ride. Now you can see I've got... Um, a flat ride here with a queue path that goes to it from the main path and I've also got a queue path over here to this other flat ride and a queue path here going to my roller coaster. Now I've also got this area back here in the back uh, which I want to expand into and in order to expand into that area and to get my peeps to get out there I need to place more paths so we're gonna go ahead and open up the path menu by selecting the path icon down here and that'll open up the path window. Now in the path window you see you have two options. You've got the regular paths and you've also got queue paths. Queue paths we'll get into a little bit more detail later on but um, they are basically like I said before anything that connects a um, ride from your main path to the ride itself. There's only two textures available for the queue paths right now. We'll hopefully uh, get some more options when the next phases are released but for now this is what we have available and it works so far. You can see it's got a neat little design in it for now. Um, in the main path queues you have six different textures and uh, once you have that open I would just recommend selecting the one that you want to use for now I'm going to stick with the black one and kind of zoom in over here to the path that I want to build off of. Um, before you start building off of your path I would actually recommend changing the path options before you start laying down your path. Angle snap if you choose this you can actually select your path to snap to a specific angle while you're building it. Um, 90 degrees is the highest increment and I believe yeah this 11.25 is the lowest you can go. Um, that's if you like to be more precise while you're building your paths. I myself like to be even more precise than that and just do the freeform one by unchecking the angle snap option. Uh, length, um, it has uh, one through five. I'm not sure if this is feet or meters, uh, but those are the options you have available. I like to work in something that's not too long, not too short, so I'll stick with either two or three. We'll stick with two for now. And then the width uh, depends on the width of your path itself. Uh, four meters is the lowest and 10 meters is the highest. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with six. I think it's about the same as what I'm working with over here. It might be a little bit skinnier, but that's that'll do work. That'll work fine for the purposes of this tutorial. All right. So once you have those options selected, you also have one final option right here, which is your camera. Um, when you're placing your pass, you can choose to have the camera be free, and you select the way that you want your camera to be facing. Um, if you select the follow option here, when you place your pass, the camera will actually follow your path creation. If you click follow and rotate, if you choose to um, turn your path in one direction or another, the camera will actually rotate in the direction that path is going. So. Play around with these options, find out what works best for you. I like to use the free mode because I like to be the one that chooses where my camera goes, but that's just me. Again, play around with it, use what you guys like to do, it's your choice. So when you have all those options selected, you wanna start placing your path. Now, you can either start a new path off here to the right. Um, you can see this little blue circle will actually start a path, and if you just left click, it'll place the path right there and start with the selected length that you did earlier. Now you can hit left mouse button again to place your path again and it'll give you a new section and you can see here this is where I can start free forming it and bend it in whatever direction that I want to. Um, left click of the mouse button will actually place another path down and you can see that when it gets close to another path it wants to join with other paths automatically and it's it's pretty cool the way it actually does that but um, there might be times where you just don't want it to connect to that extra path so if you want to avoid that hold down the control key and it'll get rid of that option to automatically merge with another path and then you can sort of select it around here to go where you want it to go. Again, you can see here that it wants to connect to this path over here, but if you hit the control key, it'll let go of it and you can place it wherever you want to. But if you want it to eventually join to your main path, you just let it go ahead and do what it wants to do, left click and select and boom, you're done. If you feel like you've made a mistake and you don't want that path to go where you placed it, right click on that path and it will delete it. It's as simple as that. Uh, if you've placed a lot of paths and you're um, just not quite happy with the placement of it, instead of actually right-clicking it, you can also do one additional thing 
by hitting Control Z or this little undo button down here. And that will actually undo the latest steps that you did. Now keep in mind that if you've actually placed a path and deleted it and then go to undo, it's going to redo the paths you deleted. So remember, undo doesn't mean it's gonna delete your path, it's just going to delete the last few steps that you've actually created. So one additional thing we're gonna go over here is um, path uh, ramps. And in order to do that, it's very similar to how it used to work in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag up. Now you can see when you let go of the mouse button, it'll actually place the path for you. And unfortunately right now, it doesn't create stairs. Um, ramps are the only thing that you can actually do to get your peeps elevated. But you can see once it's up here, it actually creates some pretty cool looking support structures down below and you get an elevated path. Uh, to bring it back down, just hold down the left mouse button and drag down again. You can see you can do it in increments of um, this angle and then also kind of an extreme angle there and bring it back down to the ground. And then once you're done with that, you can just connect it back to another path. And of course, if you don't like what you did, right click or undo or control Z. So that's path placement, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give the video a like. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Um, the next tutorial we're going to be doing is uh, talking about ride placement, putting beauties like this in with queue paths and showing the steps you need in order to get them working in your park and how to get peeps over to them. And uh, maybe even some extra stuff to make them look a little prettier. So until next time, guys, happy building and keep it loopy.